To help answer this question, let's consider an AC current flowing through a lumped impedance element. There is a voltage drop across this impedance element due to the impedance. In general, there may also be a phase difference, theta, between the current and the voltage. You may recall from an earlier circuits class that the instantaneous power dissipated by the impedance element is found by taking the dot product of the voltage across and the current through the lumped impedance. Then, to obtain the time average power dissipation, we would integrate the instantaneous power over one period and divide by the length of the period. This result includes a cosine theta term here called the power factor, which relates to the phase difference between the voltage and the current. To interpret this result, let's plot the RMS voltage and the RMS current in the complex plane together. To get the RMS voltage and current, equally split the one-half factor into both the current vector and the voltage vector. In other words, plot Vmax over square root of 2 and Imax over square root of 2 cosine theta in the complex plane shown here. Please pause the video for the moment and go ahead and do that. Okay, the voltage vector lies along the real axis because there's no phase associated with it. The phase is zero. And the current vector is at an angle theta relative to the voltage. Remember we originally started with I max cosine omega t plus theta. Now what does theta, the angle between the voltage and the current vectors, need to equal in order for there to be maximum power dissipation by the lumped impedance element? 